In this video, I will discuss how to use the customized toolbars and customized keyboard shortcut functions in SAP 2000. Toolbars can be customized to suit individual working preferences using a few different methods. If I right click in the blank region of a toolbar or menu area to add or remove toolbars to create customized toolbars by choosing individual options. So as you can see here, the design, display, draw toolbars have already been selected. If I click on edit, you can see the options now pop up on the top of the screen. I can click on the add or remove buttons drop down arrow at the right to add or remove buttons. So you can completely customize your toolbars by selecting or deselecting any of these options. So perhaps I wanted to use the divide frames option. So I select a frame element, click on divide frames, and you can see the divide selected frames dialog box pops up. Number of frames will be broken into three different frames with a one-to-one -one ratio. And as you can see, the divide frames have been implemented. Next, let's customize keyboard shortcuts. If I go to the options menu, click on customize keyboard shortcuts, here you can see in SAP 2000 it allows the default keyboard shortcuts to be customized to your liking. The various commands available in the program are grouped into categories in the categories display list. So if we stick to the edit menu, under edit, edit lines, I could use the divide frames command. Currently, holding down the Alt A key will activate the divide frames command. I can set a new key, perhaps Alt 2. Click assign, the Alt 2 key combination has now been implemented to the divide frames command. Now, selecting a frame, clicking Alt 2 will bring up the Divide Selected Frames dialog box once again.